Hi Beatles folks and thanks for joining me for this our new lesson about singing the Beatles harmonies. This one is about a very very famous harmony part by the Beatles. This one is about Sgt. Pepper. We Sgt. Pepper's lonely house club band. We hope you will enjoy the show. You know that I already performed the reprise of Sgt. Pepper, which you can find in the channel if you are interested in it. This one is the original song, the one that, uh, you know, introduces the uh, Sgt. Pepper album. To explain you all the vocals, the different vocals, I will use a different approach today. I will guide you through the original project that I made, because you will see that there are a, a lot of vocals so it's better to go through the project so we can go after each single track and after each single part of the track i can explain what's happening so let's go through the project now We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band Sit back and let the evening go Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club so let's now go through the project. This is how I tried to recreate the original recording chronology of the events during the 1st of February, the 2nd of February of uh, the 67 when the Beatles recorded the vocals, the, vo the two vocal sessions. We will now talk about the verse. This is the verse, I will call the verse the part that goes uh, uh, with such and purpose, lonely hearts got men and uh, the chorus, the middle eight, let's call it the middle eight, is the part that goes, it's, it's wonderful to be here, it's certainly a thrill. Okay, uh, so during the first of the takes, they, in my opinion, recorded these three vocals here, meaning that this is Paul, this is John, and this is George on a lower vocal. And the result, along with the bass track, which is this one in orange, was this one. If it were there, we would most probably be hearing this. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band Etc. Then, in a second overdubbing, uh, where they probably added also some parts in the middle eight, they added uh, these two vocals here, this one, post drone vocal, the higher one, and this other middle one, which is most probably George. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band, we hope you will enjoy the show. The whole harmony sounds like this. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band, we hope you will enjoy the show. Now let's go through each track one by one. I will guide you through each one so you will have a perfect, you know, knowledge of how to sing them. The first track we will hear is Paul Higher vocals, the drone one, the one that keeps almost for like all this is length the whole note. We Let's go through this one. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club. First of all, it starts with We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, We Sergeant. Each of these notes here at the beginning, with all the others of the remaining harmonies, makes an accord, a specific chord, so it's not randomly entering. It's studied, okay? And we will see that later. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club. Okay, 
This vocal here may sound strange to us. Sit back and let the evening go. What Paul is doing here is a very, very advanced and skilled thing. He's actually, in real time, tailoring his vocal to the other one that he's hearing of the previous track to create the best possible harmony groove tension, especially with the vocal that he previously recorded here, this one. Sit back and let the evening go. This may sound out of tune, but it's intentional. It's intentional because in this kind of, you know, larger harmonies containing a lot of vocals, it's a trick that Queen used a lot on Bohemian Rhapsody. If you go and see my video, how to sing Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody, the opera part. When you have a, a few singers that have to sing a lot of vocals to differ the vocals one from the other, it's a good trick to intentionally sing one just slightly out of tune. This will create a chorus, a big, large, huge chorus effect, which is the one that makes this harmony so great. It's an amazing thing that only the genius of Paul McCartney can, you know, make. Okay, let's go over. Sit back and let the evening go. Very, very important, where to take the breath here. This is a very long phrase, so here we take the breath. Peppers lonely, Sergeant Peppers lonely, Sergeant Peppers lonely, Sergeant So you keep the lead very, very short. Lonely, Sergeant Peppers lonely. Peppers lonely, Sergeant Peppers lonely, has clapping. Fine, and this was Paul's higher vocals. Then, this one is Paul again. We are Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Sit back and let the evening go Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band We're Sergeant Pepper Again we have We're Sergeant Lonely Hearts Club Band We're You heard that there is a glissato here Hearts Club Band This club band is an embellishment This song, like the, all the other songs by the Beatles, is full of these embellishments That creates harmonies along with all the other vocals Just like for example this one that stays Hearts Club Band That stays straight it's an, the greatness of the Beatles is contained in all the, the details of this amazing music. We hope you will enjoy the show. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. See no more glissato here. Hearts Club Band. This is variation. Variation is the opposite of boring. Sit back and let the evening go. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is another Hearts Hearts Club Band. Amazing effect that goes with all the other vocals like this. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It creates a harmony by itself instead of going straight. Hearts Club Band. Hearts Club Band. Makes a harmony with the, the other vocals, especially the highest one. Fantastic. Let's go through the third vocal. The third vocal is this one. This might be John. We're Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Sit back and let the evening go Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band 
You will hear that the first part of his vocal is at unison with the Paul's lead vocals here. Listen. Will Sergeant Pepper slowly has club band? Including the glissade on the has club band. When it goes, it takes another way. We hope you will enjoy the show. We hope you will enjoy the show. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band. Sit back and let the evening go. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely. Remember, all of them are taking the breath in the same point. Then there is another vocal here. You see that this one is shorter than the other. This doesn't mean that the Beatles that sang this vocal didn't, you know, keep it long till the end. Um, it, it simply means that whatever he sang was identical to one of the other parts that I show you to you. I'm showing to you. So it was useless to uh, record this one. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Sit back and let the evening go We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band you see that there is a movement here. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band. Okay, this is variation again. Variation is, is what makes your music unique and unforgettable. These two low vocals here are very important for the harmony. The lower vocal, the bottom ones, are the ground that keeps all the, you know, the entire harmony groove up, you know? That builds it up. We Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band. We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Sit Hearts Club Band Sit back and let the evening go And then there is the lower one, which is most probably George, recorded in the first uh, track Which is this one, it's a very low one We're Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band Sit back and let the evening go Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely We're Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band Sit back and let the evening go And this is different than the other, just for a few notes Listen to it Lonely House Club Band Sit back and let the evening go Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Sergeant Pepper's Lonely House Club Band I will show you now how the whole tracks together sound a cappella without the bass track In the following video I will guide you through how to mix them so you can achieve the, you know, exact original recording balance between all the vocals uh, like on the record because we have to think that the Beatles didn't have the chance to record one vocal at, at a time so 
The difference in the volume was due to the distance that they had from the microphone. This is how it sounds a cappella. We Sgt. Pepper's Lonely House Club Band We hope you will enjoy the show Sgt. Pepper's Lonely House Club Band Sit back and let the evening go Sergeant Pepper's lonely, Sergeant Pepper's lonely, Sergeant Pepper's lonely house club band. We will now go through the vocals contained in the middle eight part. Here we will find that we will have two vocals double track them. Paul, uh, John here, excuse me, this is John for sure. This one may be Paul or George, and I'm not sure about who is on these lower vocals here. Consider that this vocal here is very, very, very low, so it's a color. And this one is pretty low as well, especially in the first part. Then from here on, it's, it's, it's a bit louder, okay? So this is the highest one for what concerns the volume, the intensity, and, and, and the, as long as you go down, you know, the smooth a bit. So we will go now through each part, so you will have everything clear to make your own recording or cover, of course. It's wonderful to be here, it's certainly a thrill You're such a lovely audience, we'd like to take you home with us, we'd love to take you home Let me show you the middle eight now uh, Starting from John's vocals, which are these two ones, which is a double tracking So it means that John recorded it twice, the same line It's wonderful to be here, it's certainly a thrill You're such a lovely audience, we'd like to take you home with us, we'd love to take you home Okay, then we have another vocal, which uh, may be probably George It's wonderful to be here, it's certainly a thrill you're such a lovely audience, we'd like to take you home with us, we'd love to take you home. And there is another one, starting from the beginning here, which is very, very, very low. You're such a lovely audience, we'd like to take you home with us, we'd love to take you home. And then, there is this other vocal here, which is very low in the mix. It's wonderful to be here, it's certainly a thrill. You're such a lovely audience, we'd like to take you home with us, we'd love to take you home. So these were all the vocals contained in the song. Thanks a lot for staying with me for this video, I hope you enjoyed this one, it's a different video than the other ones, but you got all the tracks, you got all the parts that you need to reproduce your own cover as usual, and or make your own recording or playing with your band. You will need a lot of singers here, if you have any comment please write me below and I will reply to you. If you want to share the video with your friends and put a like, I will really appreciate it. So thanks a lot again and have fun with Sgt. Pepper. Mr. Moonlight, come again please If I trust in you, oh please